So despite us being 10 months away from the next Call of Duty title which will be released by Sledgehammer Games, I wanted to sit down with you guys and discuss the possibilities of what the next Call of Duty title is going to be. Of course, loads of people have been speculating these past couple of months that Sledgehammer Games are working on a Vietnam Call of Duty title or even possibly a World War II Call of Duty title and for that reason I'm not going to talk about those in this video but instead I wanted to discuss the possibility of Modern Warfare 4 being developed by Sledgehammer Games. Now straight away a lot of people are going to be saying well why will Sledgehammer Games be working on Modern Warfare 4? That doesn't make sense it is an Infinity Ward thing and yes why that is definitely the case what we've got to bear in mind is that Activision are the people that are in charge of all of the developers. Activision will be looking at sales reports, future trends, trends in the gaming community of course this would have been three years ago now and at that particular point they would have seen a lot of trends within the FPS community of modern slash futuristic shooters. Now of course they could have gone down the futuristic route with Advanced Warfare 2 and I definitely don't think that is going to be the case. I think that Activision and Sledgehammer Games realised pretty much straight away that the futuristic exo boost type Call of Duty title just won't work within the franchise and therefore they decided that Modern Warfare 4 will be better fitting moving forward with Sledgehammer Games' next title of course releasing this year in 2017. Now there's a number of reasons why Modern Warfare 4 is the likely candidate for being the next Call of Duty title. Number one of course the Modern Warfare brand franchise whatever you're going to want to call it will sell copies. Modern Warfare is the title is the brand that a lot of people do associate with Call of Duty and it doesn't matter who the developers are of this particular uh, game because well it will just sell copies. Of course Sledgehammer Games did finish off Modern Warfare 3 as well therefore it could maybe be something that Sledgehammer Games wanted to do because it's possible that yes they did enjoy making or finishing off Modern Warfare 3 and maybe they wanted to continue the storyline with Modern Warfare 4. Of course there is a lot of speculation about the Modern Warfare storyline. A lot of people do believe that the Modern Warfare storyline is indeed dead. It came to a dead end. However, they could bring back Ghost from Modern Warfare 2. A lot of speculation, a lot of theories over on YouTube in particular indicates that Ghost may not be dead. That is something that the developers can definitely twist and turn with the Modern Warfare story and that is something that is definitely possible moving forward with the franchise as a whole in 2017. Now next it comes to micro DLC in the multiplayer side of the game which of course a lot of people are not going to be happy about because this is something that is forbidden it seems within the Call of Duty community. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. However what we need to do is take a look at this from a money's perspective and we've got to realise that Activision is a business and their business model indicated three years ago that supply drops will remain in Call of Duty moving forward because, well, as we've seen in the past couple of years with supply drops, it's increased Activision's profits massively and they're not going to give it up. Supply drops are here to stay and having supply drops in Modern Warfare 4 is going to be a lot better than having supply drops in a World War II slash Vietnam title because there's a lot of different possibilities that they can do with outfits, with all of these personalization items, also the DLC weapons, and it's just very hard to see Activision releasing some of these bright and wacky camos, some of these bright and wacky personalization items in a World War II slash Vietnam title. Now, yes, although that a lot of people will say, well, it's Activision, they're money whores, whatever, whatever, I just can't see them doing that with a Vietnam slash World War II title. In fact, it makes much more sense for them to do it within Modern Warfare 4 because there is a lot of different possibilities that they can do. Now, what does this mean in terms of boots on the ground? I do believe that this year's Call of Duty title will be boots on the ground. I do believe that it is a massive possibility of being Modern Warfare 4. 
And the other possibilities is a World War II slash Vietnam shooter, but I'm starting to lean more towards the fact that it will be Modern Warfare 4 or some kind of modern shooter. It would make sense for them to do Modern Warfare 4 and I really can't see them doing Advanced Warfare 2. If it is Advanced Warfare 2, then holy hell, the Call of Duty franchise is going to go downhill massively. Already with Infinite Warfare, I'm not really seeing any views on my channel, even though I'm not uploading that much because I don't really enjoy the game. And I, I really do think that if it is Advanced Warfare 2, there's going to be a massive issue with the community over on YouTube and just overall the Call of Duty community in general, which is very worrying moving forward. Now, what can we expect moving forward with, say, Treyarch in 2019 or 18, should I say? Well, it's possible that they will be working on that World War II title that we've all been so looking forward to, possibly World at War II, which I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That would be greatly appreciated. I've been Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.